Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now before I get started I'm gonna quickly mention that this process allows you to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you don't know, uh, but additionally it most likely will mean that your device becomes FRP locked and just to explain that is when uh, your, the reset is finished you will need to verify the Google account or the screen lock that was used on this device. As most of us have a Google account sign in on the tablet, specifically Androids, uh, that is one of the verifications options. And you will need to verify one of those at least, otherwise you're stuck on the setup screen. Now, with that being said, I am going to be recording a video on how we can circumvent this verification and completely remove it for people that don't know either one of those, uh, but that will be a separate video. Now, sticking with this one, uh, you can see I do have a pattern set and for the reset we will first need to put our device into recovery mode. So for that we will need a cable and that cable needs to be plugged in to your computer. Uh, there is no purpose uh, other than to just annoy you from Samsung uh, for the need of a cable. Uh, as Once we get into recovery mode we can remove it and it serves, like I said, absolutely no purpose. Just uh, like the uh, ability for you to not be able to turn off the device by holding the power button that's also uh, just uh, there as a cancerous uh, option from Samsung that serves no purpose because we can again circumvent that by holding power button and volume down at the same time. Now, once the screen turns off, you probably will hear on your computer side that it turns off, which is now. So switch to volume up from volume down. And I think it's not going to actually work right now. The device turned on a little bit too quickly, but We'll see in a second. I'm gonna also let go of the power button right about now. Yep, so this didn't work just uh, right now. So let's give it a moment and I'm gonna attempt it again. Not sure why sometimes it doesn't wanna boot us into the recovery mode even though we're doing everything correctly. I guess it's one of those, again, Samsung annoying bullshits. So again, we're gonna hold power button Actually, power button volume down, my bad. So yeah, power button volume down. And again, once the device turns off, immediately swap from volume down to volume up. Okay, this time it will work. As you can see, it doesn't appear with the Samsung logo right away. Now it is, there we go. Once you see the logo appear, you can let go of the power button. And there we go. So like you seen a uh, second time, it went a little bit differently as it didn't like show up with the Samsung logo right away. That's kind of what we're looking for. Uh, if the device boots up for you normally, just try this again, like I did. Now, anyway, once we're in this mode, recovery mode, you want to use the volume buttons to navigate up or down. And with that in mind, select wipe data factory reset, confirm it using power button, then select yes confirm that. I'm gonna shift it a little bit hi uh, higher just so we can see the bottom of the screen as when you confirm it it will say formatting data and then data wipe complete at which point reboot system now is selected by default so press power button to confirm that. This will reboot the device continue resetting it in the background and once it's finished we will be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So, with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.